Ladies and gentlemen, how's she going? Once again, I'm not from that stack, but it's otherwise known as your friendly neighborhood basement dweller. Don't worry, ma'am, I am from the internet, and today, we're going to be taking a look at this beautiful Quattro K420. Really, why would they use 420? That's so unprofessional, but... We know why. Because we like to keep on rocking in the free world, right? Jeez, this thing's almost about eight years old in this day and age. But there's still people interested in this because it's really hard to get a good graphics card. Really hard to get any graphics card these days. Man, I got a 1030 for 120 about uh, two years ago. And now the thing's going for about 300. I believe this thing has one gigabyte DDR3. Anyways, let's talk more rock. Let's get into it. For this benchmark, once again, we're going to be using the Vader system. I got an i7 third generation in here. All right, so here we got the specs. Yeah, it's a one gigabyte DDR3, 128 bit. Not bad for 20 bucks. Starting off with DirectX 9, we're going by at about 21 frames per second, full screen. I've seen worse for a $20 card. I gotta say, this isn't as bad as it could be. You can go on to, geez, Newegg, any of these places you get new video cards and purchase new video cards that are about this speed for about a hundred bucks. So you get this card for 20 bucks, or you could go online and buy something new for a about uh, yeah a hundred now the thing is uh, sometimes you have a difficult time buying GPUs because they've been used for Bitcoin mining or just any kind of cryptocurrency mining and you'll find they're not all that good in this case this is a card that I don't think anyone would have used for crypto mining we're getting about four or five frames per second that's about the speed that I get off in uh, eighth or ninth generation Intel onboard graphics once again I've seen worse DirectX 11, 19 frames a second. Once again, I've seen better, I've seen worse. And it actually pulls off DirectX 12, where you only got about 8 frames per second. She's trying her best, though, for 20 bucks. She's definitely trying her best. Alright, so of course, next up, we're going to jump on some Fortnite and see how she does. Alright, straight up, it's not looking so bad at the title screen. We're in the waiting room at about 30 frames per second. That'll give you a pretty good idea what we're going to be running into. Alright! We are rocking out in Lotto Boost. Lotto Boost is looking uh, pretty good. We're out and we're falling at about 30 frames per second. And I'm pretty sure that's going to be our precursor to how this is going to go. As always, you all know how much I love to grief people on the way down. I have a feeling Billy here is going for some kind of long range drop. Oh, look, friends! Oh, yeah, I think I think he knows what I'm up to. Oh, yeah, it's on. Don't run. Don't run. Why would you run? Uh-huh. <laughs> These guys have got to be bots. Yeah, those tires are looking pretty rough. I guess that's supposed to be a tree and those are supposed to be lights. She's got to give it a sec to load in. 18 wheeler. Roll on. Aw, I didn't get the... That sucks. It didn't give me the hitch. How can I be an 18 wheeler if I don't got 18 wheels? Life is hard, my guys. It's a lot harder if you're stupid. Oh wow, this card is so slow, I feel like I'm getting just a little bit of input lag. And that hurts if you're trying to lead a target. That's one thing I find gamer channels never really tell you. Like, yeah, I can get X many frames per second, but is there input lag? Where the hell did that chicken go? I sense a soul in search of a beatdown. Oh, did that hurt? Oh, that did hurt! Come on, come on, you want some of this? You want some of this? Oh, 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 bad sniper, no sniping! Bad sniper, no sniping! Come on, put your head out. Come on, dearie, put your head out. Oh, you're not afraid of me, are you? There, gotcha, Nancy. How you like them apples? That person really should get rid of those wings. It does really make her out to be a better target. Moon juice. Doom is pleased. Look, Terrence, treasure. See, so, yeah, it generally seems like you could be expecting to see about 30, 34, frames per second on uh, Fortnite. Whoa, that bear is pretty rough. That tree is pretty rough. It's like it's still thinking about loading in. Look, Terrence, more treasure. Finally, some action. Where is he? Where'd he go? Oh my god, was it just a chicken? It was just a chicken, wasn't it? Whoa, that boar is pretty rough. I swear to god, this is going to be one of those games where I make it to the end and I get sniped by someone I don't even see. A hundred people in this freaking round and I've only managed to see three of them. What the heck? Finally. Where are you going? Oh my god, is that guy using... He's web-slinging into the tornado. Why is everyone so damn shy this round? What the heck, is everyone agoraphobic or something? Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yes! Finally! Oh, someone stole my kill. This would be a good time to have an RP. No! No! Where did you come from? You weren't supposed to be here. Ah, oh, sixth place, and I think I've only seen four people the entire frickin' round, one of those rounds. Oh, well, it's just how she goes. So yeah, 30 frames per second on Fortnite. 
So here we got Grand Theft Auto 5. It's pretty jagged. 30 frames per second. I've seen worse, but at least it's at full screen. Of course, I'm going to travel around a bit, get into the uh, thicker areas where there's more people because uh, the more people, the more units, the more sprites you got on here loading in, you can definitely feel it, especially when you're cruising by on a motorbike. But yeah, so far, just jagged. I'm not, uh, there's no herky jerkiness every time new car need to load in so I like that I'd buy that for a dollar ah oh, check it out a bus I love buses no bus don't leave so yeah you could definitely get by with this on Grand Theft Auto if you had to if this is the only car that you have hanging around now it should be said Quattro are the better version of the G-Force the G-Force there's less error correction there's less ECC going on uh, but it's professional, it's for professional things, but because of that, if you want it for gaming, it'll still work for gaming, but, uh, knew the price will be more used, the price seems to be a little bit less, so definitely think about Quattro when you're thinking about picking up a cheap video card. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me, Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. Take care of each other, will you? Have a good one.